okay, so my thesis, I was an interior designer in the UK, and I specialised in universal design. My master's degree is in universal design. And I was asked to design a school that included children with autism. And I thought, oh, I know how to, do, to design for children with autism. But it turns out I didn't. Um, and there was very little evidence-based research to help me. It was all anecdotal, or you'd ask teachers what they did and why they did it, and it was just because that's the way they did it. So that just sort of sparked my interest, and I came over here, so my research is focused on how the education environment can be designed for children with autism. And I'm focusing on doing a wayfinding study to see if uh, different sort of colours and shapes in the school corridors can help children with autism to wayfind. So I had the idea of what I wanted to do, and I think that's quite unusual that I was so focused on what I wanted to do, because I think a lot of people come uh, knowing perhaps the rough area, but not being quite so focused. But I think it means I've been able to channel my course studies to exactly what I want to do. So I've taken, for example, you know, colour classes here to help with that. I've taken um, a, a class um, that's mostly for teachers who are going to work with children with autism. I've taken a class, you know, focused on autism and what that is. I've taken sort of learning and cognition classes. So I think this programme is very sort of like open to what students can study. Yes, you've got sort of the core set of things that you must study, but I think that sort of experience of being able to work on different campuses and meet other different students is, you know, sort of very beneficial to give one a well-rounded, you know, overview of your topic.